Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June last month, I let you know that if you are using the Microsoft Photos app on Windows 11, that the app was going to be getting new viewer and import improvements on Windows 11, very similar to what we get um, over in Microsoft Paint when it comes to Zoom functionality and so on. Now, just to let you know that I have noticed uh, today in my region with the latest update to the Photos app through the Microsoft Store that some, not all, but some of those improvements now have made their way uh, from the Insider program where they were uh, previously been tested as I posted and have now made their way into the stable version. So just a quick update in case you would be interested as to a couple of these new improvements and enhancements. Now, first of all, if we just head over to an individual photo or image just to give you some of those enhancements you know, now yeah to the top left you will see that the share and the slideshow uh, toggles and buttons are now on the main viewing screen instead of hidden inside the overflow menu where they previously were so that's the first of one or two little adjustments and then yeah to the top right hand side of the image there's now a dedicated section for Microsoft Apps where all the Microsoft App shortcuts uh, are together now so you can quickly and easily, according to Microsoft, navigate to the full photo gallery from the viewer, open in ClipChamp or open in OneDrive. And then moving down to the bottom right, and these are a couple of features I'm quite happy to see roll out. We now have a dynamic zoom slider. So basically, as you can see, it lets you view images anywhere from 10% right up up until 800% of the original size. And just to show you what that's all about, there you go. So you can really zoom in there if you would like to. And then yeah, just to the right of that, we now have a draggable slider. So you can now enable precise adjustments for better photo viewing, according to Microsoft. And I quite like these new additions. And then something else I'm quite happy to see is yet to the bottom left, you now can see the size and dimensions of your photos that are now visibly displayed at the screen's lower edge uh, in the actual app. And this was actually a highly requested feature, which I'm quite happy to see roll out to the app because I deal with quite a lot of images on a day-to-day -day basis, and this will help in that regard. And then something else just to take note of is that Microsoft says that uh, this release also comes, they say, with the new multi-process performance lifts that improve viewer load time by 2.1 times. So um, the app has been struggling um, recently with a couple of performance issues. So this should make things feel a little bit faster and a little bit snappier according to these improvements. And if you want to see what version you need to be on, if you just want to double check if you have this update, to get these features I've spoken about today in this video, you need to be sitting on version 2024.11070.23001.0. So that's the version in bold um, to get these uh, features. And as mentioned, I did notice um, today in my region that that update rolled out through the Microsoft Store. And just putting it out there if you are using the app and would like to just know about those enhancements. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.